Ladies and gentlemen, I am the ace, Dante Jace, here for Fighting Spirit Wrestling, Only the Strong, and I am here with the legendary competitor, Tony Mamaluke. Tony, oh, thank you for oh, joining me today. You said legend, I thought you were being facetious. No. Well, a true legend and a humble man as well, as you can see. Now, Tony... You see my bank account, I didn't know what but I digress. Go ahead. Tony, you know, you're a man after my own heart, because I'm also from the Bensonhurst section of Brooklyn, New York. Have you been back there lately? I lived there. You lived there? Yeah, in 63rd Street and 18th Avenue. Oh, awesome. I'm not invited, out. so don't come. Yeah, don't don't show up at this man's house uninvited. That's not cool. But, um, so, listen, it's an Italian area, or at least it used to be. Uh, <laughs> now it's more of a uh, FBC, full-blooded Chinese, I'd say. Among other things. Among other things. But, of course, Tony is a member of the legendary FBI, the full-blooded Italians. Now, Tony, you've been in ECW, WCW, you've been in WWE for a little while. Of course, now you're here in FSW. What have been some of your favorite places to wrestle? The ones that pay me, <laughs> usually up front, and before I even get it, put my bag down are my favorite places to work. Uh, if, as far as actual wrestling goes, uh, it was ECW, of course, that's where I made my bones. I became, as you said, overstating it slightly, a legend. And uh, I still, uh, well listen, I still milk it for all it's worth 15 years later. Thank you, Paul. You didn't pay me then, you still pay me now. But I got you, brother, all day, every day. Well, this man deserves to be paid, that's for sure. Now, of course, Tony, the last time you were here in FSW, I remember it very well, was the Lucha Libre Extravaganza in Queens. Ah, uh, yes. And you were in a three-way tag team match, and one of your competitors that you were going against was Blake Morris, who you're taking on tonight. Now, is there any difference in strategy between a tag team contest and a regular singles match like you're in tonight? Well, we've been we've been kind of kicking around, but you're absolutely right. When it comes to singles and, 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 and tag team wrestling, it's a totally different uh, animal. And you have to approach it differently because you have no one to look to, and they have no one, and they know more does your opponent. So it's basically mano y mano, and uh, you know, it can be a little bit of a different and more difficult situation. I've always preferred tag team wrestling, not because it's easier, because of the psychology, the style of the match, but what it kind of leads to more of my particular skills. But that doesn't mean I can't compete with these young guys or these old guys still in, in the circuit today. Very good point. So tonight, when you're going against the young, brash, cocky, flawless Blake Morris, what is your strategy going to be, if you would not mind telling me so right now? Or is it a secret? I'm going to cheat. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to pull hair. I'm going to poke him in the eyes. I'm going to pull his tights. And that's even before he gets to the ring. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I don't mind. Listen, if you ain't cheating, you're you not trying. trying. That's exactly right. Well, now listen, I'm five foot nothing and a hundred nothing pounds. If I didn't cheat, how the hell do you think I survived this long? <laughs> Except on my wife. I never did that. <laughs> well, I appreciate your honesty there. And Blake Morris is going to have a lot to deal with here tonight. And Tony Mamba, Tony, thank you for your time. Best of luck here thank tonight. You. And uh, Tony Mamba, ladies and gentlemen.